What's up? This is Cyrus Igono. Um, you know, I woke up this morning and I came to a realization I needed to make a video blog. I had to. I don't usually do this that much, but I was like, man, I'm just sick of like just seeing craziness online. Um, I was talking to my guy Marquise last night and like we're wondering why no one from Phoenix is really like cool you know I know that sounds stupid but it's like a real problem to me like why hasn't why aren't there why don't I know who's doing something um everybody who does stuff here no one like really goes hard you know no one's willing to sleep on the floor and be successful it's not like the LA New York stories so what I wanted to do was make a video blog and like show people like a simple way to like not look whack. Um, it's actually really not that hard to just at least be legitimate. You know, some of us are like trying our hardest to, to be successful. Other people are, are just um, going halfway. But I feel like at least for uh, Phoenix's sake and your own sake, you should at least do these base things so you're not a joke. All right? So, one, I hope that offends you because you should take it offensively. And, you know, we are a community and we need to uh, look as best as we can. So I'm going to show you guys a real simple way to not be whack. Don't be whack, all right? So follow along with me here, all right? And you can always check it, check me out at cyrusigono.com. Hit me up. I'm sure you're going to hate what I have to say, but whatever. Uh, let's see here. Let me look at some of my notes. So Arizona rappers specifically suck, Okay. Musicians suck, but at least there's a lot of successful rock bands and DJs and stuff out of Arizona. But specifically the rappers, man, like it's embarrassing. Um, you know, the other creative industries as well, you know, it's not really good at all. Like no one understands the basics. You got to have like a website, duh. You know, you got to have like basic things to like be taken seriously, you know, um, all of you people that are like going and paying the same people and performing in front of your friends, like, you know, to be the greatest person you can be, you're doing it to express your art to people that are like you. You just can't be confined to like the same circle of people for your whole life. And, you know, it's, it's like a joke, you know? So again, we're not saying you have to, 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 to have made it, but you have to hold yourself to like the industry standards, okay? So I have here a simple formula. I know you guys hate math. I do too. You know, I think I dropped out of school because of it, but creative success is simple. It's B3, B to the third equals C to the third, all right? So I'm going to break, break it down and I'm going to give you like specific tools that you can go do and you won't have a problem with this anymore, all right? Like, for real, all right? So the first thing you got to do is you got to brainstorm, okay? <sighs> you know, I, t I try to talk to people about this stuff all the time. And it really doesn't, like, people don't really, like, get it. Okay, let me give you a, let me tell you a little story, all right? Let's say you're chilling at home you know it's friday 11 45 a.m and you get a phone call let's say jay-z i'm going to use rappers as a specific target to this video block but this really does um apply to any, any creative field you get a call at, at, at noon and it's like jay-z he says hey you have to be in new york city by midnight tonight i want to meet with you there's this really important thing okay so you know, as a rapper, you, you know who Jay-Z is. You know, he gives you a phone call. Everything you wanted to do ever in life is in your face. Okay? 
So a lot of people who are a rapper, you know, I, you know, I almost feel like a rapper is a bad example because it's like people don't take them seriously because it's such a joke now. But you have to get to New York City by midnight to meet Jay Z. The first thing you're gonna do is figure out how to get there. Okay, so I'm gonna type in New York City, right? I'm gonna figure it out. But I, but really, all of us are smarter than this. We're just gonna type on Google and look at plane flights because we know that flying there is the fastest way. But I guess to illustrate what I'm trying to say is, is you have to figure out the destination. You have to like Google, you have to MapQuest how you're going to get there. Driving from Phoenix to New York City doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Does that make sense? So when you're saying, hey, how am I going to get from point A to point B? What you're going to do is you're going to figure out the fastest way to get there. All right? So as a creative person, you have to map quests. You have to figure it out. You can't just say, wake up one day, oh, I'm going to do this. That is not what people that are successful do. You have to have a plan. You have to have a step-by-step -step plan. So, like, a simple thing you can do, I'm going to show you this, is to go to Google Drive. This is an example of something we've done. Create a spreadsheet and list out your ideas, okay? So one thing that we do when we have we work with people is we just list them, list them out. Tell me 100 reasons why you're going to achieve what you're going to achieve. And then tell me 100 reasons why you're going to fail. You know, simple stuff that no one ever really does because they think they have it figured out. But the reality is, is you have to take the time and commit your ideas to a document or paper. You know, a dream is, uh, is spoken goals or spoken desires. When you commit them to a document or paper, now they're goals. Now they are a real life thing. You have to do that. All right. You have to list the artists that you're like. You have to list out stuff. You have to do this. You cannot just wake up and start trying to. It's like it's like trying to wake up in, in, in Phoenix and walk to New York City. Yeah, you know you have to go northeast, but like, how long is it going to take there? How much time are you going to waste if you don't know exactly where to go, how to get there? What's the fastest way? Think about it like this. Why would I walk to New York City when I could drive, or better yet, why when I could fly? Simple concepts. Simple concepts. So the first B here is you got to brainstorm, all right? You must brainstorm. You have to commit what you're doing to a document that you can reference and see, am I on the right path? You know, very simple stuff. Like, if you go and you look, go to Coca-Cola and you say, hey, let me see your business plan, they're going to pull out a huge old stack and say, here's our plan for success. If the biggest companies in the world are doing this, you have to do it too. You can't just try to freestyle your way and try to hustle your way to wherever you're trying to go. You have to plan it out. All right? So the second part is you have to have the base. So when I say base, I mean website, social media, you know, the basic stuff, okay? So what when you put out this, this document, when you write your goals down in paper, you're going to say, okay, who am I marketing to? You know, so if you see here, who's, this is the customer, this is the target consumer. These are the brands they like. These are the sort of things that they wear. And then you can take this and you can translate this to an actual real life website where you see here, okay, these are these ideas and they're now committed to an actual real life form 
where you could see the things on that form are represented here on this website. Whether it be merchandise, photos, etc., the things that are laid out in that plan are now like come to life in a tangible thing. You cannot just try to freestyle forever. You have to have a plan. So this is like some simple things that you could do. And you see like the, the branding consistency if you relate it back to that other document, okay? I'll pull this up here. You can see this. It's the same sort of branding. It's the same sort of feel. It's professionally done. You know, this is what a lot of people out here like don't understand. You know, this isn't like, oh, I'm a tight rapper. Nah, you're a business. You're a product. Am I going to buy a product from you? You know, Drake, OVO, it's all this sort of stuff. It's a product. You know, are people going to buy it from you? So, I don't know what's up with my slow internet. These photos aren't loading, but, you know, you get the point, right? You get the point. So, you have to have the base. You have to have a website. You need to have your social media. You have to have merchandise. Okay? That's the other thing. If you don't have those three things, how can you make money? You can't do it. You cannot do it. It's not possible. You know? If you, if you don't have a website in 2015, 2016, 2017, going onward, you're not a, a real thing. How many people... In Arizona, in music business, don't have a website. Like, yo, it's not acceptable, you know? And then how many people don't have merchandise? You know, like newsflash, no one buys music anymore. You know, it's a celebrity-driven world that we're living. You have to become a person of uh, prominence for no matter what it is that you do. You have to be known as a personality. So you have to have merchandise. This must happen. Okay? Would you rather make $25 selling a shirt or 99 cents selling a freaking song? Come on, guys. So I'm going to move on to the next topic, and that's buzz. All right? So... If you have a clear plan, you brainstormed, if you have the base, which is the website, social media, and ability to make money, which is the merchandise, then all you got to do is you have to get your buzz up. People have to know who you are. So basically, you have to get people that are going to uh, help make you seen or known. So I'm going to give you some websites to use that you could find these people to make it happen. All right, and before I do that, I wanna sit and give you guys a little freaking lesson, okay? The difference between a normal person and a celebrity is very, very simple, and people overcomplicate this, okay? A normal person, no one cares what you do. If you go to Circle K or Fry's and you look like a scrub, Nobody cares. With a celebrity, everyone cares what you do. If Kim K goes to Walmart, it's going to be on every single website in the world. Because she's created that mystique about her. So let me go ahead and give you a little tip, a little insider secret. That stuff can be manufactured. Yes, it can be faked, okay? So maybe if no one's talking about you or your music or what it is that you're doing, you need to start talking about yourself. You need to get other people to talk about you. So that's why a lot of people do controversial things to make that happen. But regardless, a simple way to do it is to get a publicist. And publicists are people who make that happen. Um, they can cost anywhere from as low as $100 a month to do press releases 
up to like 10, 20,000. It doesn't really matter. But, you know, here are some ways that you can do that. So this website right here, followerwonk.com, you can go and you can actually find every single person on Twitter who has specific words in their bio. So, you know, you guys owe me because, like, I'd be charging people for this stuff. You know, a lot of money. Publicist, let's see, um, journalist, you know, you know, we're in Phoenix, so I can search Phoenix, Scottsdale, and, uh, you know, I can search their bios. And then, bam, there's 385 people who call themselves a journalist or a publicist that live in our city. So this can apply to you no matter where you're at in the world. So for you to say, for you to have music out, for you to have a clothing line, for you to be doing anything and not anybody know who you are, or not for you to have no search history online, etc., it's really unacceptable. Because you can do this stuff very easily. I just showed you how to do this. Okay? Maybe Phoenix publicists suck. Let's look for Los Angeles publicists. Um, you know? And then maybe San Francisco. Bam. You know, hit the search bar. Okay, there's only seven. Maybe I spelled something wrong. There's got to be more than that. But it's very, 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 very straightforward. You know, it's, it's really, like, not that crazy. Another second place that you can do is go to IMDB Pro, okay? It's another huge database of people. It costs, like, $15 a month. And, like, if you sign up for it, it's such a pain if you try to cancel. So just be worried. Just be concerned, uh, warned. But, uh, you know, what you can do is simply say, oh, I like Jessica Roberts. And you can go on here and you can search oh, who's Jessica Roberts' publicist? And then you can contact them and become get them to be your publicist if you have the money. You can say, oh, I like James Franco. Oh, I like Lil Wayne. You can go and see who actually represents Lil Wayne and contact them and then pay them to work for you. It really is that simple. The information is really laid out there. It's not crazy. So, like... If you think about it, there's really no excuse, okay? So if you go back to what I said here with this B3 equals C3, if you can have a clear vision on where you're going, if you can have a website, legitimate social media, and you can have merchandise, you know, then the next step is getting people to know who you are and what you're doing. You're going to get these things, these three things. Cash, comfort, and congratulations. Your parents are going to like you. They're going to think you're actually doing something with your life. You know, people are going to get behind your cause, and you're actually going to be able to make money. All right? So I, that stuff is important. And me being from Phoenix, I'm sick. I, it makes me sick when I meet people who are trying to do stuff, and they, like, don't even have anything. Like, you know, there's 24 hours in a day. You know, your life is basically, uh, you know, there's a, a saying that says your life is accumulation of your words. I like to say uh, your life is an accumulation of your Google searches, right? If you search Google, how do I become famous or how do I get a record deal? You're going to find things that are going to give you that result as long as you keep searching. You know, if you go search Google for world star hip hop, uh, the latest fights you're just gonna be wasting your time so this stuff isn't rocket science you gotta you gotta be on the search for it so like you know if you want you know you can hit us up and you can hit me up but i don't want to keep seeing uh the failures of not like you know, I see these flyers, I see all these things online from people, you know, in, in, uh, in our city. And it just kind of like disgusts me because no one's really going anywhere. 
You know, you're lying if you think that you're actually doing something. There's like less than five people that I've seen who are doing something in Phoenix that like actually has the potential to go somewhere because they're not searching knowledge and applying it. So please take what I said and apply it to what you do and, you know, change the path that you're on. Um, you know, uh, yeah, totally. Hit me up. Call me. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Doesn't really matter. But, um, yeah, you know, it's a Cyrus e. Gono. Hit me up at CyrusEgono.com. Remember, B to the third equals C to the third. Get these base things and you'll be all right. Talk to you soon.